The prison reported several drawings and the words John 316 written on the wall in blood and said that he marked on the verse John 316 and that he had written John 316 in ink on his forehead. Right. Does that sound like him? No, <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't, um, especially because Aaron was, he was spiritual, but um, he wasn't the kind of guy to get up every Sunday and go to church. Um, not saying that things may have changed being there. You have nothing but time to think um, and to explore other options. Um, but it just, it, no. So he was spiritual, but not religious. Correct. It's a very big difference. Right. Did that verse have any special meaning to him? Had he ever talked to you about that verse before? Personally, no. Never mentioned it to you before? No. But this wasn't something that was in his rhetoric, his nomenclature. It was something he talked about. No, it wasn't something that he incorporated on every letter he wrote to me. No. Yeah. H had he ever written it to you? Not from my knowledge. If he wrote that, this came out of the blue. Absolutely. And so for him to go from, babe, I gotta go, they're getting ready to close the doors, to writing John 316 on his forehead a few hours later is a pretty big move. This is a pretty big departure from the man you talked to on the phone. Right, it seems well thought out in a sense. What do you make of that? None of it is very believable to me. Um, not the findings, not the investigation. I just, I, I don't believe it. As far as the scripture, there was no knowledge that he brought to my attention as far as, you know, mm -hmm. any of it. Well, the day of his passing, the surveillance video showed him on the phone just before being locked in his cell that night. So this would be the last call he was talking to you. Right. You would suspect. Right. And this was about the time that they normally would shut things down and he would go to his cell, right? I, I believe so. I mean, there were different times for everything. And they report that a guard checked him at 1 a.m. and he was alive and surveillance video, they say that no one entered or left his cell from 8 p.m. and he was discovered at 3 a.m. Do you believe that? Um, I don't. I believe there's some uncounted time. Um, I don't think that things were done properly. I feel like he could have been saved or something could have been done or whatever the case may have been I feel like someone was in the wrong somewhere, um, and I, I want answers. They also reported that he had soaped the floor, put shampoo or whatever on the floor, and placed a sheet over the door to block vision, and put cardboard in the, the slide where you couldn't get the door open. Do you believe all of that? I don't at all. I think until we can get in there and do our own investigation, and I actually, I guess, trust where these um, these answers are coming from, maybe I can have some comfort in the truth 